Welcome back to another ball handling tutorial. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. My videos are for people who are trying to become better at ball handling. All you need is a ball, open space, and a way to follow along. All right, let's get to it. This is level one to the crossover series. Start off with wide crossovers. Keep the crossover below the knee, and we're gonna dribble wider than usual. Keep a low base, have your feet shoulder width apart. Try not to bend over too much, because we don't want our backs to hurt. We're only doing this for 30 seconds. Once we hit this 30 second mark, we're gonna do tight crossovers. All right, if you haven't already, let's switch. Now let's keep our dribbles really, really tight. Keep that low base shoulder width apart and get as many dribbles as possible in. Great job. You only got about 10 seconds left. For this next drill, we'll be doing a crossover straight to in and out. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's get straight to it. So now we're doing a crossover to an in and out. When you cross the ball over, keep your feet planted. And when you do that in and out, you're gonna step opposite with the foot you're doing the in and out with. At the same time you do the in and out and you step, I also want you to dip your shoulders into the in and out. We're trying to sell this and get our defenders to shift. There you go, you got the hang of it now. Make sure you're staying low. If you make mistakes, it is not bad. I've been learning over the years, while you're working out, there's no rush. If you feel like you need to go back and try it again, go back and try it again. Way to work, way to work. Got about 10 seconds left. Let's switch, double cross to a between the legs with a reset dribble. Take the double cross, I want you to step wide which way you're double crossing. Go between the legs, keep your feet planted and with that reset dribble, you can stand all the way back up and relax and then we're right back to it. We're gonna do this for a minute straight and remember, when we get into our moves, I want us to stay low, keep a wide base and let's push ourselves. I know this is a ball handling workout, but we can also use this video for cardio. Push yourself. Make sure you keep changing up the pace. Go fast, go slow. Add in some hesitations if you want. Have fun with it. While you're dribbling also, I want you to try to keep your eyes up. I'm not saying it's bad if you look down, but let's make sure we keep our eyes up. Just to try to teach ourselves just to be able to move with the ball without even looking at it. Good job, you're about done. All right, now we're gonna put everything we just went over and do it together. Now we're doing a double crossover between the legs and now we're adding that in and out at the end. And then we're gonna do another reset dribble. Let's go, we're doing this for a minute straight. With this combination, I want you to notice that it's all about pace. So don't go too fast, just keep a good pace and try to keep the rhythm going. You should try to make a beat in your head while you're dribbling the basketball. Remember to focus on all the details with each move. The double cross, we're gonna step out. The in and out, we gotta step out. And also when we go between the legs, let's push the ball through as fast as we can. Great job, you made it all the way to the end. Now you already know what we about to do. It's time to freestyle. I believe this is the, the best part of this video is freestyling, just kind of going over what you would just practice and just having fun with it. 
Make sure you add in some hesitations while you're doing this. I want you to focus on not doing the same move two times in a row. Let's go. If you know anyone out there trying to work on their handle, share this video with them. I hope you feel that control coming. Good job. Thanks for watching the video. If you can, like, comment, and subscribe on the channel. And also, send me some videos of you actually doing the workouts. You guys can tag me in them on Instagram. I might even mention them in uh, the next videos coming up. I'll keep posting these videos. I'm having fun doing them. I hope you feel yourself getting a little better. And if you want, you can go watch all my other videos. I'll have those in the link below. Have a good day.